publicly funded flu vaccines rolled out on Monday for 11 groups, including children and people aged 65 and older. This year, the vaccines will be provided by four companies. In Taipei, Deputy Mayor Li Sichuan rolled up his sleeve to kick off the inoculation program. Publicly funded flu shots are now available. Taipei Deputy Mayor Li Sichuan took the lead, rolling up his sleeve for the shot. Currently, 11 groups of people are eligible for free vaccination. They include people aged 65 and up, preschool aged children over six months old, medical staff, and students from elementary to high school. With both the flu and COVID, we may hit a peak in cases this fall and winter. So we have launched the public inoculation program on the first day back from the long weekend. Over at this school in New Taipei, children line up to get a shot. I don't care which vaccine brand is administered because they should all provide a certain degree of protection. This year, the vaccines are supplied by the following. Adamune, which will provide 50 percent, Sanofi, which will provide 27.5 percent, TTY Biofarm, which will provide 12.4 percent, and for the first time, Medigen, which will provide 10.1 percent. Which brand is administered at a site won't be announced beforehand. KMT lawmakers say that's a problem. To make its flu shot, Medigen imported vaccine bulk from South Korea and conducted sub-packaging in Taiwan. Many parents are worried that their children will get Medigen, and schools have no way to tell them which brand will be administered. If the vaccine has been certified by the Ministry of Health and Welfare, that means the FDA or the Health Ministry has conducted the relevant verification. All four brands have undergone our strict inspections and they all cleared the checks. There is no reason to pick one over the other. The vaccines will be made available for more groups starting next month. For now, the health ministry says eligible people should arrange to get vaccinated ahead of flu season.